Hello world, I'm Chris Perillo, and you're watching another live edition of the Locker Gnome Daily Report, or TLDR for short, your daily deuce. <laughs> it's your daily deuce. <laughs> Number two at the beginning of this broadcast. Uh, your daily dose of geek news, product views, and answers that you can use. But today, uh, I really only uh, saw one bit of news that I thought was interesting to talk about and uh, don't really have any uh, new product. Uh, ramping up for Vlogger Fair this weekend, as many of you very well know. We just got my hair cut. Yes, that's not really a question. Uh, so, for the people who are tuned in live, feel free to ask questions, and we'll make this as interactive as anything. I just rebooted my system. Uh, hopefully, that will uh, keep us from uh, blipping out today, as, as we did yesterday. Uh, I, I still think that uh, in doing a variety of network tests, it's likely the software that I'm using, and I don't know if there's any way I can address that. Let me just put it to you this way. This week, my mind is in other places. Uh, my primary task is to take care of Vlogger Fair and make sure that goes off without a hitch. We plan on having 2,000 attendees. It's it's uh, it's going to be a, a big event. Very, very happy to hear that. Uh, I think we got all our duckies in a row. And you know now I'm just taking care of like last-minute details. If, if you've never hosted an event before, it is uh, fulfilling and yet uh, also very stressful. Uh, my uh, parents are coming in uh, t t uh, this evening and uh, very happy uh, to be receiving them. They're not here in time for the TLDR, but maybe tomorrow. Maybe I'll get Dad on as a special TLDR tomorrow. Unless, you know, there's like tons more news that uh, that kind of comes in. Uh, Cole McNamara watching live says, Hope we have a smoother stream today. I agree. Cheers. Clink. I'm um, turning back to uh, last week's AMA thread just to answer questions possibly. Uh, Thread Lamont asked, what do you think of Apple's HomeKit? And I'm a fan. I like what Apple's trying to do in terms of unifying experiences, making it easier uh, for smart homes to kind of be built up uh, around us. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's it's nice to have smarter homes uh, in, in the convenience, if only for the convenience factor. But at the same time, you know, there, there are certain things that I, I'm very happy aren't smart uh, because sometimes when you try to smartify something, a product, a service, uh, and it ends up being uh, m more stress and, and strain for various reasons. So I am not the kind of guy who's like, oh, I need to smart this, I need to smart that, I need to this, that. You know, technology is not a savior. It absolutely is. In fact, oh, I sent this link to you l this morning. Did you get it? Yes. Hang on. Okay, this is not the news I thought of, but that was the first okay. question to address. The product that I was reaching for is actually from Michelle Duggan Bentley. You've met all of them in the vlog. Uh, they sent us the Star Wars character bath kit, which would be perfect. I mean, it's awesome. It is perfect. But the kit itself would be perfect if only that was a stormtrooper, not a clone trooper. So this, it, it, that's the only prequel, well, other than 3PO and R2 and Yoda, that's really the only prequel character. Well, okay, so Chewbacca as well, but why couldn't they have made it a stormtrooper? I can't believe our child is going to be bathing with a clone trooper. <sighs> I was trying to sound. That's did I sound? I did. Are you, are you? What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Reading email. Okay, I thought you were looking for the thing that I sent you. Oh, I have it. Uh, no, there's another. A tech. There's something else. I. I maybe I didn't save it. Talking about how kids and technology. No, that's something else. Uh, patron Earl Green sent me a link saying that fathers' brains can be rewired when their kids born. Like I'm, I, I'll be re like you get a you, you automatically get rewired when the kids born because you you did it right. Mm -hmm. You get it automatically. Fathers can have that same feeling. I can have the same bonding. Really? Mm -hmm. That's what the, that's what the studies have said. So uh, in 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 related news, uh, they were taught. There's a God. I, I can't remember. It was the pediatric association or some child association? They're saying, because people have asked, you know, what tech are you going to put around the baby? Well, the uh, the people who know babies and, and children far more than I do, especially when it comes to cognitive processes, are making recommendations that there's zero technology from age O to 2. No technology. And even in introducing technology, it could actually lead to behavioral problems in the child. They could be more petulant, uh, impatient. Uh, the uh, uh, the possibility that uh, they'll have a short attention span, not want to learn anything, not be able to sit still long enough to learn something. Uh, so sometimes technology is not, uh, you know, the, it's not the end all be all of everything, and you got to be careful in terms of introducing that something like that to the child. Uh, and and so you know, I'm going to take it very casually. I think there's going to be a lot of uh, toys and, and hands on stuff and 
uh, puzzles, I think, are going to be a big part of it. But I, I'm not going to go, you know, a whole hog into, you know, just teching out the baby. I just don't think that, uh, even though I, you know, obviously I, I enjoy what tech does to transform lives, I'm not exactly sure it's, it's necessarily in the child's best interest to uh, be spoiled uh, like <laughs> that. Um, you know, they wouldn't necessarily be using the internet for, uh, like adults might use it, but still it's just... Uh, with great power comes great responsibility, and I would hope to introduce that to the child if I felt that the, the child was mature enough to handle the responsibility. Yeah. And if more parents took a more active role in terms of how they integrate uh, education and technology within the family, within the child's lives, I think it'll be better. I think most, uh, most challenging poten potentially is um, seeing other people do it. And, and, and the problem is, is, like, Diana and I are always like, you know, like, they're, of course, they're gonna. The child's gonna see our face, but you know, we, we have to model very carefully because the child is going to see that as something that no, this is something that adults use. This is this is an adult thing. This is adults. You, the children, you get something else. You know, you, yeah. but this is for the adult. This is this is job. Even though, well, I mean, this is what I do for a job. But uh, the camera. This is this is this this is going to be the other part of the family. The the child's going to get used to pretty quickly. Like, but every baby and child are different, so yeah, you kind of have to. You gotta, yeah, play by ear, but generally speaking, cognitive processes develop a certain way. And if the child's used to, you know, you know, an app, going to ne next, 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 boom, 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 boom. I mean, we had three channels, sorry, four channels when I was growing up, right? And I mean, like, that's, you didn't have a, you didn't have VCRs. I mean, you kind of did later on in life. But, like, I mean, it's like now it's just like, oh, I got 500 channels. Oh, I can do anything. Uh, you know, it's like bam, 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 bam. That does not allow the child, cognitively speaking, to be able to develop the processes of patience mm -hmm. uh, and understanding uh, and, and, and a willingness to learn. So it, it's, uh, it's something that I think we just have to be very, very careful about because the last thing you want to do is instill intentionally instill bad habits into your child, like um, eating cereal without milk. This is another big no-no they were saying in the study, <laughs> and Diana's doing it all. She's eating her Odeos. <laughs> That's another thing. We, I'm going to wax nostalgic here for a second. So I'm just saying, technology and babies... Nay, nay. They don't always go hand in hand. And I think that's if I dived into anything today, that would probably be it. Um, we had one flavor of Cheerios when I was a kid. Plain. Really? It was nothing. It didn't. You know what it tasted like? What? Cheerios. That's what it tasted like. What? You know, it tasted like powdered O's compressed together into Cheerios. Ew. They, exactly. Now they got everything. Mixed berry, chocolate, vanilla. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Honey, oh my God! I remember when Honey Nut Cheerios came out. I was freaking out, like, oh my God! It was the second coming. <laughs> yeah. Back in my day, we we didn't have we didn't have the internet. <laughs> Wicked's getting his Cheerios. Better hope he ain't allergic. That's for sharp. Uh Jesus Chavez says Uber plans an API soon to launch with Facebook Messenger. Seems smart. Why not be able to access Uber from your Facebook app? Eh, it'd be interesting, but you know what? Um, I'm a big fan sometimes of, of creating silos. Uh, you know, sometimes we're, when there's crossover, uh, things can get complicated pretty quickly. I'm big into simplicity, especially when it comes to technology and services and what have you. Uh, Idan Noti asks, and this is the in the uh, open Facebook thread, is it a boy or a girl? Yes. Alberto Serafin Lopez asks, how hard do you think it is to learn Active Directory and Microsoft Exchange? I don't know. Uh, I, I can't imagine it's easy. I can't imagine it's difficult. I imagine it's possible if you really want to learn it, if you need to learn it. Um, let's see here. What else? Boy, I'm having a problem focusing here. Uh, I'm, I'm getting older. Uh, someone r wrote in Arabic. I, 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 can't, I can't translate that. Uh, I don't even have a translate button. Facebook took that away. Uh, Chris Hall says, "What began your love of technology?" I don't know if I've ever really loved technology. I've I've loved the idea and and what it can do. Um, you know, I, I grew up with home computers back when that's when they were called home computers, and, and just love the idea of, of software, just kind of doing things that otherwise you just couldn't do. And I think so, that's why I've always been more of a software kind of guy than a, than a hardware guy. It's always been that way, and I don't think that's uh, going to change anytime soon. What's wrong? Why'd you move? Oh, you're back. That's right. Baby, and we have a, we have proof of this. Baby got back. <laughs> it developed the back in the in the in the Diana, the back. Uh Cassie Lowe, 500 channels and still nothing to watch. That's why I canceled my cable. You know, it's 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 beyond that. I mean, it's the internet, right? Some someone, you know, might ask like, "Hey, did you see this? Did you see this?" 
and, and anymore, and this was something that I think we touched upon yesterday or the day before, the uh, people watching live TV, the possibility of that happening is decreasing by the day. And it just doesn't surprise me. We hardly watch any more live TV now. I mean, if it's anything for me, it's like, just turn on the TV, see what's on. I, I, for whatever reason, the way I like to unwind at the end of the night, I like going to bed to Frasier. That's, I don't know why. I've seen the episode so many, it's just my unwind, right? We all need something, right? And eh, I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you. For years. For years, I've just enjoyed that. I don't know why. It's comfort. It's just knowing that it, it's there. It's stupid, I know. I, there's so many other things I could watch. Uh, but either way, that's, uh, that's, uh, where, uh, where my head is when I'm going to bed. Adam Toms says, hey, Chris and fellow patrons, I have recently jumped ship to a Windows PC to an iMac and was wondering if anybody can rec recommend any must-have apps. Well, as a matter of fact, Adam, uh, one, you get the free download. I think, uh, I linked to it last week of my, uh, uh, Windows switchers or Windows users switching to OS 10 for the first time, first time Mac users. It's an ebook with 140 tips or something like that. Um, that really has, has proven helpful to people who have uh, taken the time to read it. It's not a, like a, a huge book. It's like a very tiny ebook, a very digestible tips. Um, in terms of must-have apps, there's so many of them out there. Uh, you know, of course, using Apple's App Store is a, the, the perfect location to start. We are doing another Mac bundle deal. If you check out deals.lockernome.com, we've got Mac software discounts as well as a handful of giveaways. Uh, so, you know, just keep your eye out for those kind of things. That's a great time to buy the software. There's a lot uh, of Mac software. There has been for quite some time. There, that used to be the issue of a lot of people who would poo-poo OS X or just the Mac or Apple's ecosystem in general eons ago. One of the arguments, which is sadly outmoded, is that there's no software available for the Mac, and it, that's just not the case anymore. Um, you know, it, it, it's, it's something that is... It, you're never necessarily going to reach parity in terms of software distribution, but for the most part, if there's something that you need to do, chances are there's a program or application, you know, utility tool, whatever, uh, that, that is available. Um, and uh, I wouldn't say that the selection is as replete as I remember Windows programs being back in the day, uh, but it's a different landscape. Uh, you know, there's a lot more to be concerned about, especially as far as your security is concerned. So uh, just keep that in mind as, as you continue to uh, try different things. Uh, within OS 10. Cassie Lowe says, I have an indoor antenna and get local channels, but otherwise Hulu and Netflix. Oh, yes, Hulu Plus. Cassie, I don't know if you use that. We got HuluPlus.com slash... Is it Chris? Yeah, HuluPlus.com slash Chris. You get, well, you already have Hulu, but everyone else get a two-week free trial of that if you haven't tried it yet. Worth doing if, if you know, if you like the stuff that's on Hulu. Uh, you do? Oh, good for you. <laughs> uh, next question here from the open Facebook thread. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Aidan Nodi asks, what do you think about Apple Swift coding language? Uh, it's obviously different. Uh, some people like it. Some people don't like change. And uh, I can't imagine Apple making this change uh, w with uh, short-sightedness, so I expect it's going to be around for... The foreseeable future. I'm not a developer. Uh, you you probably have to ask someone more like Jerry, or Jerry Berg, aka Barnacles Nerdgasm, who would know far more than I would. And I don't even know if he's had experience with Swift to this point. Blake Rosenbaum asks, "What do you think about, or what do you, who do you think, man, who do you think would win in a boxing match, <laughs> Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk?" Uh, I'm going to give this one to Jeff. I think Jeff is, he, he's strategy. Jeff is strategy. He's operations, right? You know, Elon's like, he's, he's creative, he's inventive, he wants to change the world. And I think Bezos wants to change the world, but is in, it, but in a completely uh, different way. Uh, and I think Bezos would be the kind of guy thinking through the strategy. In fact, the biggest news that I saw today that I was going to talk about, it's not even worth linking to, um, Amazon is now doing uh, payment processing, much like... Uh, um, Square has done, so they're getting into that game, which, okay, good, you know, they can drive down prices, you know, it put Amazon spin on it, uh, it could be worth it, you know, uh, the more disruption, I, I say, in that uh, arena, the better, uh, and I'm glad to see that Apple is, uh, is kind of, uh, jumping ahead, um, Apple, listen to me, Amazon is jumping ahead, there is a possibility that Apple could as well, Apple has a lot of credit cards stored with its, uh, services, and so it's, it could be just a matter of time before they, they kind of unleash it, and then you go to a, uh, 
Um, okay, let's just say coffee place, and they take Apple payments, and then you you swipe and authenticate with your iPhone, and then you're good to go, or iPad, or whatever iOS device, and uh, it, it could happen. I think it's it, it, that'd probably probably be more secure, and I'd probably go that route, uh, if only because you know safety and security of of of, uh, of the, the payment processing. Uh, Damien Seiler. Did I get your last name right this time? Says, oh, and bring back Tech TV. I agree with Jesus on that one. Well, I tried, or I'm trying. That's part of our Patreon goals. I haven't mentioned this. 960 patrons as of today, uh, August 13, 2014. This uh, particular presentation that I'll roll through at some point in the broadcast will be updating. Uh, I, like I said, I kind of got a. It's, it's been a busy week, um, but I'm very happy to see this number climbing towards a thousand. Uh, and I think we'll be there sooner rather than later. Hopefully we will not lose any in, in this next go-around with uh, eliminating bunk pledges. We've kind of lost a few over, over time, but we will get to 1,000. I, I, I promise we will. I need your help with that. Um, but part of the one of the goals, and I think, is it double the goal? I think we have to double our goal, and I'm going to, I will bring back Call for Help. I'll find people to do it. I'll do it. If you want, I'll do it. But I can't do it alone. So I have to be able to, to identify, get, f figure it out, and that would take people here in Seattle to be able to coordinate, and it just takes time. And part of that is is, is getting the resources required to, to, to be able to pay people for, for their time. And I do that now. I mean, a lot of what you see out there, I mean, people don't realize that uh, I've got a couple people who help uh, me on a regular basis with Locker Gnome stuff. And then uh, even I, I work with a team of people for Vlogger Fair. So it's not just me who's doing things. I may be the front man. I may, I may be the face out there, but it's not just me. Uh, that's something just to, to, to keep in mind as, as far as, you know, talking about the what you might find out there uh, is, is, about me is concerned. Hang on. They say here that channels wouldn't survive in an a la carte model. Yeah, I know. Um, like, I, I, I turned on a local station to watch Frasier and, uh, just because it's there. If I wanted to, I could stream it in through Amazon Prime. It's just kind of like going through it. Like, I just want to... I wish I could just press a button or just say, you know... Play this, you know, and I can if I have the Amazon TV connected to the, the bedroom, and I don't at this stage. Uh, and I'm not necessarily going to get a second Amazon TV. I'm kind of waiting for them to fix a few bugs. Uh, so it's just not a perfect scenario yet. Uh, it's not as easy. that the, the, the friction is still there. For example, we were going to rent Sp The Amazing Spider-Man 2 the other day, and I mentioned it to Diana, and uh, I, I was even going to... Uh, I said, what was I saying? Have you ever seen the movie Contact? And Diana said no. And uh, I said, oh, what? You know, so I, I brought up the DVD because we have the disc contacts. I guess I can't stream it through any of our accounts right now. Um, it's not available that way. And she said, I thought we were going to watch Spider-Man. Well, you can rent Spider-Man for 15 bucks digitally or wait another week or so and rent it for, you know, five bucks. I'm like, well, I think we can wait another week. Uh, I mean, think about all those things we're going to have to be doing at the birth center, you know, as, after you're giving birth. I mean, after, not during. I mean, hey, Jay Shadow! She's all, Diana's all uncomfortable right now. This is this is how Diana to me. This is she's like this. She's leaning up against her chair like this. I keep switching positions. That that's what that's Diana. That's my impression of Diana there. Uh, thank you, Damien. Yeah, I knew it was something like that. But I see, I'd be able to transform a, a part of the house into a studio. I'd be able to to hire producers. Uh, and, and also help produce something on a daily basis. Like, instead of just being me in front of this camera and dealing with a million things that's very difficult, that are very difficult to deal with, I would, I would be able to count on a community and deliver it for them. And honestly, tell you the truth, at that stage, if all I was doing was producing Call for Help for patrons, I would be, I'd be fine with that, and I think patrons would be fine with that as well. Uh, you know, delivering to you what, you know, you, you might need, or what you might want from me. So, yeah, the, Demian is trying to get the hashtag going, re reboot call for help. It's going to take a lot of people, I think, a lot more attention than what we have today. But we'll get there eventually, I think. Um, Max3099 asks, Chris, would you help a patron start a YouTube channel? I uh, can't promise anything because that's a lot. I mean, it's a lot of work. It, it really genuinely is. Uh, I've provided advice before and would be happy to do that as well. Uh, but I have to be careful about the time because imagine if I said yes. And like a hundred people asked me for that help. I mean, it, it would it would it would pile up, and I wouldn't be able to fulfill my promises. So I'm a big believer in in fulfill uh, fulfilling those promises and, and making sure I can do it. I will offer advice when and where I can, especially if you are a supporter. Uh, thank you, Max three thousand and ninety nine. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to see you this weekend. I don't know. Ah, uh, next question from the public Facebook thread. Adam Hokum Jokum. 
asks, what is the average airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? African or European? Uh, Peter Freeze asks, what does the fox say? Let me ask. What does the fox say? There you go. There's the answer. Uh, you want me to ask it again? Yeah. Okay. What does the fox say? There you go. Uh, <laughs> let me see here. Ugh. Idan Nodi asks, what phone or product are you missing the most and why? You know, I, I don't know if I'm missing anything, honestly. Um, you know, I always look for technology that, that would make or might make my life easier to deal with, uh, a happier life. Uh, and uh, I don't know. It's very difficult to think of like something that's missing because I would do my best to bring that into my life, you know, if, if, if something was missing, uh, at least as far as technology is concerned. And if it wasn't working well, I'd, I'd probably get rid of it. Technology was designed to be replaced, not to bring happiness to you forever. Ah, uh, let's see here. I Fraz Joseph asks, if you could travel out to space, which planet would you go to and why? If I could travel out to space, which planet? I would go to the planet that's inhabited <laughs> by, you know, by a, a benevolent uh, alien species. And uh, that's where I'd go. I'd be like, hey, what's going on? And watch this be an act of war. Like, if you do this, it's like... I swear I'd go. Well, he didn't say in the solar system. I mean, he just said, you know, plant. Which plant? That's where I'd go. I'd want to I'd wanna meet some... Uh, want to meet me some aliens before I die. Who would not? Well, some people may not. Um, here we go. I'm looking here to see if I can get to any questions that have, haven't necessarily been addressed or, or decent questions. Uh, Killian Lorden asks, this is from the open Facebook thread, so don't say that all I do is pay attention to patrons because I do more than that. And anybody who knows me knows that very, very well. Uh, if you could be an animal, what one would you be if I could be an animal? Um, Pixie. I'd be Pixie, my dog Pixie, because she is always happy. And I don't know, what's, what's that, baby? I would, dream. I would puke a lot. I would smell like poop. No, you dream. Oh, I dream. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's uh, I do that sometimes. I do that anyway. <laughs> uh, Pixie, because she's always happy and burpy. No, she doesn't burp. Wicket burps. Over. He farts. Wicket's farts are. <laughs> yeah, Wicket lives a stressful life. <laughs> yeah, w Wicket doesn't like the camera sound on an iPhone. Uh, Pixie's ambivalent. She's like, hey, you got food? I love you. You don't have food? I love you anyway. Hey, you're a stranger at the door? I love you. She's not scared of thunder either. No, not at all. So every once in a while she gets freaked out by the beeps. Yeah. Uh, I'd be the dog. Matthew Dunn asks, uh, Windows Phone or BlackBerry? Uh, at this stage, I'd probably go Windows Phone. I, I don't know how long uh, BlackBerry is going to be around. And I'm not, not to say that Windows Phone is going to be around for the foreseeable future, but I think Microsoft's going to hold on to it for at least a while. But honestly, I, I, I'm sure I would run into frustrations with either one. I saw, I think it was a prototype of someone uh, saying uh, uh, that, or I saw a screenshot of something where BlackBerry, they've got like a, a phone or device, like a tablet that's square. That's their thing. It's, their value add is that, oh, get the new BlackBerry. It's a square. I'm like. <laughs> or I'm that girl. You know that girl, the meme, the girl goes. She's got buck teeth and she's kind of. She's, she doesn't have glasses, though. She, she, she's like... That's that's me. I'm, I'm that girl. There, that's... Uh, when I saw the square blackberry, I'm like, really? Okie dokie. Uh, Matthew Dunn asks... Or, yeah, asks... Do you want the original cast of Star Wars to play a massive role in their new film? Um, no. I can't believe I'm saying this, but no. Um, I really hope... And I've, I've spoken to this before, but... Being a fan of the original trilogy, there was a certain magic there, and I, I don't want them to try to recapture that. I want to know where those characters are, but I also know that it's time to introduce new characters that we love and trust. So they're going to have to be very careful in terms of how that happens uh, with the, the core Star Wars community, um, the fans. And uh, you know, I, I hope that uh, everything will work out well. Uh, but I, 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 I'm, I'm, also, I'm also really hoping that it's not going to be heavy 
with uh, the original cast because it wouldn't give the new you've got to pass that the baton in a way that you know you trust the old characters here the new characters and you you believe and you love them because of that that on-screen relationship that they have and i think that needs to happen in a very casual careful way so like uh, for example, I you know I don't I don't want to leak in no leaks no I, I haven't been reading up on any plot leaks or, or details about the films, but I've seen um, Mark Hamill, the guy who played Luke Skywalker, growing a beard, and it's it's my estimation, and I believe this would be the right way to do it. I mean I don't know anything about you know, the story writing or anything, but um, imagine Luke as more of an Obi Wan type of character in this movie. It's, it, so we've kind of, we'll kind of have come full circle, and that's not to say Luke would bite it in in the first one, uh, but Bring, coming in in a, an Obi Wan type of role, I think, would be uh, the way to to introduce, you know, the, the, at least that character, you know, the, the the character who's there and it's got enough screen time, doesn't feel like he was just added on, but you know, Ken Kenobi was, I would say, central to the plot of uh, of uh, the first Star Wars movie, A New Hope, uh, but he he wasn't like one of those central characters. He was a character, like, but not like Han, not like Leia, not like uh, Vader, not like Luke. He was ancillary, but very supportive in in a, in a very uh, in a way such that, you know, the character was able to live on in the in the future films and became a part of lore. And I think that uh, that would be about the best way that they I would expect them to involve the characters in, in supportive roles, not necessarily uh, forward facing roles. As much as a fan as as I am of the original uh, movies. Uh, let's see here, he doesn't like touching his eye. What? Oh, someone's asking why I don't wear contacts. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of, of putting things in my eye. Thank you. Yes, uh, Cassie much, must watch the vlogs. Knows me enough that I'm not, no. I don't even want the LASIK stuff. That stuff is, well, I'll wait. I'll wait until it's, like, perfected. Um, let's see here. Next. Uh, Matthew Dunn asks, Knott's County or Nottingham Forest? Uh, I don't know what Knott's County is. Knott's. N-O-T-T-S. Knott's County? I know Hazard County. Good damn Duke boys! Go oh, go get them Duke boys! Rascal P. Go train! Come on, Flash! Let's go get him! He had a little beagle named Flash, and it was funny because Flash, you know, fast, but the beagle was slow. He's lethargic. Like he's like, wasn't it? No, wait, wasn't a beagle. It was a basset hound. I'm sorry, Flash was a basset hound. So it was like very frumpy, like long ears, like. <laughs> Come on, Flash, let's go get them new boys. <laughs> oh, oh, God. You got to you gotta look it up. I'm going to, I'm, you know what I'm calling it? It's Hazard County. I don't know what Knotts is uh, or the uh, uh, Nottingham Forest. I, I'm going to go with, uh, I don't know, for some reason. <laughs> God dang those dick boys. Oh, you always get so frustrated. Duke boys always outsmart him. I'm entertaining myself. <clears throat> They're still talking about my eyes on YouTube, so I'm going to go ahead and move on. Uh, <laughs> Tom Goodwin asks, I movie or Final Cut LOL? Oh, I didn't know LOL was a Final Cut LOL. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna have to go with Final Cut LOL on this one. I don't mind iMovie. I think it's a fantastic uh, tool for what it is. Uh, but the moment I made a leap to uh, Final Cut, uh, I would say my video workflow improved by a dramatic degree. iMovie does some things uh, in a simpler fashion compared to Final Cut, but Final Cut is, is definitely faster, more responsive, insanely blazing fast exports, especially on a 64-bit system. Uh, Damien Seiler says I do that impression too well. <laughs> so he knows what I'm talking about. You gotta go, You gotta look it up. YouTube, Roscoe P. Coltrane. <laughs> well, girl, go to get them new boys. <laughs> Come on, Flash. Let's go get them. Flash. And they'd always, they'd always do cliffhangers. Like the Duke boys would be driving along and they'd, they'd jump the gorge or whatever it was and it'd stop halfway and then the narrator said, now, uh, you know, a, smart, a gambling man might say they wouldn't make the leap. And then it, it cut it out, it freeze frame, and then it'd go to commercial and then you had to wait and then it started at the freeze frame and then, you know, whatever happened, happened. I never really understood the show, honestly. As much as I grew up with it, I mean, I understood it was uh, the Duke boys and Uncle Jesse and, and Daisy Duke and they kept doing things that 
kept frustrating the law, but the law was uh, 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 corrupt, if I'm not mistaken. Boss Hog. He was a big guy in the Boss Hog. He had a cigar and a big white hat and big white suit. And they were in the South. It was... Uh, I don't know why it was the it was the exci- it was the it show every every kid in the eighties they, wa- they they watched the Dukes of Hazard now it's in my head it was in my head the other day too when was it oh during the the geek out with Bar- uh, Barnacles and uh, Ty I was joking about it I said Jerry's boss hog I'm Roscoe P Cotrain and I made uh, I made Ty Bo Duke and he didn't know what the hell was going on I, I I'm the in my head I knew exactly what was going on uh, let's see here Paul Easby asks Chris. Perillo, head of Jar Jar, or voice of Jar Jar from episode one. Head of Jar Jar, or voice? Must only pick one and live with decision. What? I don't have his head? I don't understand the question. Have, have his head. Oh, oh, would I rather have his head or his voice? <laughs> I'm going to go with head on this one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'd go with head on this one. Because I can. <laughs> Halloween would be awesome. The rest of the year, not so much. Uh, Michelle Johnson. I don't know why I just did that, and then I peered over my glasses anyway. I'm having problems focusing here. Exactly how long after the little one is born will it take for you to say, Baby Perillo, deep husky breath, I am your father? Uh, I'm going for the first day, personally. That's, that's what I'm going for. We shall see. Damien Siler says, I had the Dukes of Hazard lunchbox. That's funny. I, I vote that Chris does an entire TLDR in the Roscoe voice. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work. I think a lot of people would tune out before, well before it was over. Um, Charlie Mystic I Cameron on Facebook asks, Has it hit you yet knowing you're going to be a father? Uh, kind of, you know, but not really. I'm sure it's really going to hit, you know, the moment that, I mean, it's like, hey, ain't no turning back now. I mean, really, there's no turning back now. But I mean, like, you know, the whole something's going to happen. I'm like, okay, this is my life. This is... Hun! Hun! It pooped! But it doesn't look like poop. This is... This is beyond me. I think... I, I, I think... I think we gotta call someone. Hazmat. They'll come and with the whole... Suit... Thing. That's, that's when it's gonna be... I'd say an eye-opening experience. Nostril-opening experience. I'll just have to stock up on pa- uh, paper clips. Clothespins. I'll be calling my friend Jasmine. Jasmine! Jasmine! <laughs> we joke about that. It's like, what are you going to do? I'm going to call Jasmine. Jasmine! Jasmine! Something exploded! I need your help, Jasmine! <laughs> She'd come, too. She'd come to my rescue. Jasmine would save me. I can count on Jasmine to save me. That's. Yeah. Diane asks, what happens if I'm out of town? Will you take the baby with you? Well, then you could change the baby while you're sick. I can't be around the baby. Yeah, you can. Well, well, we'll call your mom. What if she's in Texas? Well, then we'll call Jasmine. What if Jasmine's sick? Then Slav, because he's experienced. But what if Slav's sick because Jasmine? Then I need to make more friends who happen to be female. <laughs> Le- Liana would help. Yeah. Liana or Michelle would help. We're seeing, I think Liana's coming over tonight, as a matter of fact. I bet our neighbor would help. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, she may kind of, like, laugh. She may point and laugh at me, but I don't know if she's... That's, that, I, don't th- I would not consider that help <laughs> at all. Like, you know, pointing and laughing is not... That's not fun for me. So, uh, thank you, everybody, for asking, uh, you know, questions. Uh, Max3099 said TLDR equals the Locker Gnome Daily Rant. Where did it go? Uh, t- did I do a daily rant? Well, the problem is I don't want to rant about everything. I don't want to be, like, all negative Nancy and stuff. Not to take away if you... That's your name. Your name may be negative Nancy. Um, in which case I'm like, I feel sorry. Uh, I would not make fun of you though. You can make fun of any name. You give me a name, I can make fun of it. Like there's just no, there's not a name on the planet that would escape me. George, George, G-E-O-R-G-E-O-R-G-E-O-R-G-E. That's, I'm just spelling the name over and over again. It's a name that never ends. Diane has to think about it. And I know because she paused. I don't get it. George Porge. Georgie Porgy. Georgie Porgy, pudding and pie. <laughs> Kissed the girls and made them cry. Diana Banana. Diana Banana. Chris Piss. <laughs> well, that's a str- oh, I haven't heard that one before. They're like, 
Oh, Chris, did anybody ever call you Christopher Columbus? Oh my God, that is so original. Christopher Columbus. Dude, how, what was it like to discover America? <laughs> what? Hey, Christopher Columbus, because your name's Chris. What? No, yeah, I, oh, it's so original. Oh my God. Ah, get it, Chris P, because your last name's Perillo. Get Chris U P. Well, yes, I urinate. It's actually something we should all do. In fact, if, if, if you're not evacuating your bladder on a consistent basis, you may want to get that checked out. That's how I'd respond to people trying to make fun of me. I'm like, I'd act serious. Like, well, yeah, I pee. I mean, geez. Can you imagine? Do, do, do you carry one of those uh, uh, catheters? Or do you have a catheter? Oh, my God. You should, oh my, I feel so sorry for you. And they're like, then, that's not what I'm saying. Because your last name's P. You're P. You just, you just deflate them. You just, like a balloon. You, like, yank the cord. <laughs> Which is exactly what's going to happen to baby Perillo when I cut the cord. Yeah. If I cut the cord. You don't know? I don't, well, I don't want, I got to find out. I need definitive proof that the baby's not going to go flying around the room. <laughs> no one's told me this. They just laugh. They, ah, like, well, can you answer the question? It was a legitimate question. Are you going to play it by ear? I'm not playing any ear. <laughs> uh, thank you, everybody, uh, for tuning in. I, honestly, guys, I, and gals, I did not have any news, and I figured I'd, I'd turn it over to everybody. These are the questions that you asked in la the last AMA. Hopefully more news tomorrow to share, uh, but thank you, everybody, for, for your support, no matter who you are, where you're from. I hope you are having a great week. I hope you're having a great day. Just know that if you respect me, I respect you in return. If, if you love me as much as you can love me, I love you back. So uh, this is me, in case no one else has told you today, telling you that I care. Uh, thanks again. Hope you liked today's effort. Uh, hope you uh, liked it enough to share, comment, subscribe, uh, do what you do uh, to make this a better experience for everybody. Uh, we're all on this planet together, so uh, let's have a good one, shall we? All right, high five. Uh, hopefully I, that was your hand that I hit and not your face. If, if so, I'm, I, I apologize deeply for that. I think I hit them. It was a love tap. Uh, at this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices. I've got one other video I'm going to be recording. I don't think it's a rant. Let me check here. Hang on, hang on. I'm checking as I'm waiting for the page to load here. That's my live with Barnacles. I didn't need that. Today, the Q&A with you and me topic is going to be something that I did not note. But it will be, what future tech do you want the most? Ooh. I gotta think about this one. So give me a few minutes. I will think about that and record that video for you live on YouTube again. We'll see you later. I mean, again, I'll be, I said it before. I'm, I'm saying that again, because I already mentioned it before. I'm not saying, I, I've, I haven't done it yet. I'm like, sometimes I feel like the Woody Allen of tech. Like, you know, I just like, I always have to feel like I explain myself. I, it's not my fault. I, just, I This is my Woody Allen. I haven't practiced Woody Allen in ages. No, that's not Woody. Woody, you'd be more like this, see, talk, like, that's a horrible Woody, I gotta, okay, I'm done.